My name's Joel Fergie. I'm also known as the Zookeeper, and I'm a full-time street artist. I call myself the Zookeeper mainly because I love painting animals. Um, I love all types of wildlife, but when I was younger, I was learning how to paint, and I was painting everything in my little picture book of different zoo creatures, and I thought to myself, I need a name that kind of represents the artwork that I'm making, so I thought, why not just call myself the Zookeeper? I used to go and travel all around Brisbane, skating at different skate parks, and I'd catch a train everywhere I went and I'd see all these amazing colourful pieces along the train lines and I thought, geez, I wouldn't mind learning how to do that. So over like the early days of my high school life, I um, started playing around with spray paint and learning letters and drawing cartoons and things like that. And I realised I wasn't too bad at it. Um, and yeah, basically over the last 15 years, I just got asked to like one small artwork which led to the, another artwork and I, it just kept expanding into what I do today which is living off it full time. My name's Jess Tedham or Jessica Tedham. Um, I'm the cultural liaison officer here at John Fisher so I help support a lot of the First Nations students here um, but also work to help support the staff. I'm also an Aboriginal artist so I've been doing art for about as long as I can remember but more professionally within the last three, four years. So the main element of my design is the Mianjin River, so you'll see that kind of flow throughout. And the reason I chose the turquoise teal colour was because it's also taken from the wings of the Pacific black duck. So a lot of the campsites or circles you'll see along the river, they symbolise how the Turrbal and Yagara people moved along the river um, to perform ceremony, um, sorry business, and for a lot of Aboriginal people, rivers, especially for my country, um, it sustains our life and our way of being as well. So another main element of my design, you see a lot of green ferns um, and blue water lilies. So Mianjin, which is Brisbane, that translates in Turrbal language, um, the blue water lily. The first thing I do before I'm gonna put any paint on a wall is figure out exactly what fits within the space. So. With this wall in particular, I met with some of the staff at the school and talked about what this place means to people, um, some of the important symbols that represent the philosophy of the place. And then from there, I sort of work out kinds of images that might represent those symbols. Um, and in this instance, um, it was the magnolia flower and obviously the students that go here. So once I had those elements, I work uh, on my iPad, actually make a digital mock-up of, of the artwork and figure out exactly what I would like it to look like. Um, that's obviously in con consultation with, with the school as well. And this is the, the design that we've landed on today. So now it's just a really a matter of painting it. I would have to say that I love the colours the most in this work. Um, I love the flowers and I love the, the girl in the background, but the colours are just really optimistic. I think they make people feel good um, and brighten up the space. So. Yeah, I felt really connected to murals for one real reason, and I think it's that it's art for everybody. Um, a lot of art previously in, you know, over art history has been about small pieces that are sort of for a particular part of society, whereas I think murals are in public space, so a lot of us that create them are really considering, you know, who's using the space and how can I interact with them in a meaningful way.